Hello everybody, welcome back for another set of Spongebob Battle from Kitty Bottom. Last time we uh, got most of Rock Bottom done, we're just going to get the last golden spatula that we're missing. Oh, and the two socks. Oh, Yeah, I did a failed recording. I had a failed recording earlier, and let's just say, um, it was, uh, not very pleasant. Uh, I spent uh, almost 20 minutes in this area just trying to figure out what to do. And, uh, I died. So, uh, yeah, let it be known that I still don't know what I'm doing. Please, okay. This is why they want you to sneak across these platforms, except here's the thing, I don't feel like doing that. Okay, that was a, that was something. Uh, I'm just gonna use this to skip away. Okay, there you go. I'm just gonna use that to skip ahead so that I don't have to deal with this uh, sleepy time. Or just die again. That that's just that that that's fantastic. Just die again from an enemy you didn't even see. Oh, all oh, right. You can hit this guy from the back. Can you? I believe so. Okay. There you go. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna go here. Hit up this. Teleport box. Hit you. Hit up this thing. That's fantastic. Alright, so now that we're Sandy, we need Sandy for the rest of this area. So anyway, now we need to go back over there where the sleepy time was. Hit that spring so I can make this jump. Now, you're supposed to have hit another button which allows you to get a swing hook which allows you to, uh, Go! Because if you get on this rock, as you can see, there's a golden spatula over there. And I totally, uh, I totally didn't look up a walkthrough. That's totally not what I did. <laughs> uh, I'm lying. I needed to look up a walkthrough for this, because I had absolutely no clue where it was. I went to the museum, and I grabbed those two socks. But then, I realized those swing hooks, they just lead you to a purple shiny object. And it's like, why? Why would you waste your time? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I was actually on the right thing. Yeah. So, uh, you have to go over here, and you just have to hope and pray that this works. And I'm going to keep trying this until I get it. Oh, there we go. First try. First try of this recording, anyway. So, I'm just going to nab these uh, shiny objects, because why the hell not? There you go. They don't even give you a cheer, it's just like, there, you did it. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. So now, what we can do is head off to the museum. I don't know if she's saying take that too, but you know. There. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, don't they have a dialogue box for this? They do. Hey there, Barnacle Boy. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Yeah, okay. So I said that I wouldn't come back here, but you have to. For two socks. Once we get those socks, I never, ever, ever, ever have to come back here during this entire playthrough. Which is absolutely perfect for me, considering I fucking hate this world. And I realized I now just have a complete unbridled hatred for it. But for some reason, because I hate it so much, I can 100% it. Right out of the gate. I'm just gonna chalk that up to developer error. Just because they didn't... They couldn't figure out how to make this world work. So they're like, you know what, just make it easier to 100% just so that the kids don't have to deal with it. Okay. Okay. So there's a sock over here and a sock over there. So I'm gonna go grab this one first. 
Because it's in a little more of an obtuse spot. Now hit that. And go over here. And... We're done! Rock bottom 100%ed. Ugh. Okay, let's go to Shady Shoals. Oh my god, this is so much smoother. I got that done in five minutes, as opposed to 20. Okay, so all it takes is a bit of practice. Okay. So anyway, let's head off to Shady Shoals. Because, here's the thing, um, if you're doing an any percent speed run, you know... Okay. So, bonk. I'm pretty sure there is a way to. Oh, okay. What is the statement? Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Homegirls Gone Wild! Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, okay, I'm just loading up a YouTube video for later. There you go. Okay. Don't you have to whack this in order to get a sock? You do! My intuition coming through! Okay. So there you go, another sock for Bikini Bottom. The more socks we wipe out, the better. So now we have to go to the Mermelayer, which now at this point you can just fast travel there, so there's literally no point to having this. But then you don't see this anymore. That excellent bit of animation. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why they would program that into their TV remote, but whatever. <laughs> But yeah, you can just hop onto this table and it'll warp you back to Shady Shoals, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, considering you can just fast travel to places. <laughs> just in case the kids don't know about it. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of death. Um. See? I got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> it is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. Well, why? Because... Ah. Okay, so you have to shut off the security system. So here you go. The Mermelayer is, uh... uh it's such a... Yes. It's such a weird state of affairs. You would think this area would be cool, but... For some reason, it's just not. You know, it's, it's just, it's, um... It's not that fun. Oh, wait. Oh, don't you get a sock for that? Oh, no. Never mind, I'm doing the same thing again. What the fuck? Okay. Please turn off, please turn off, please turn off. Fuck. So anyway, this guy shows up. This is Arf. <laughs> you have to use the bubble bowl, but why would you want to?
I mean, when the wand just works, use the goddamn wand. Okay. So anyway, next is another annoying thing. These wheels that you have to bubble bowl. I don't know why you would need these, but whatever. Okay. Oh, doesn't this turn on the invisible boat mobile? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hit this just one time. Yep, it hits the invisible boat mobile. <laughs> All right, there you go. I understand they can, I just did. Why didn't you use the invisible boat mobile for that tutorial? That would have been funny. That would have that would have given that joke justification. Okay. There we go. There we go. So now there's literally no purpose to go in between the mermelator in this area. Okay, some of these sound effects are just not working, but I guess the uh, cheering sound effect doesn't really have a purpose. Mermelayer main chamber. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. How much time have we been running for? Okay. I need to get this dialogue with Squidward in here. I need to. It's funny. Zanaka boy. Yeah, okay. Now, I want, before we progress, after that dialogue, talk to Squidward again. Pain will proceed. Good old classic deception. Uh, how does this work? I don't know what you would use this teeter-totter for, but whatever. I mean, couldn't you just walk back? What what purpose does this serve? I guess that's for a sock later on or something. I don't know. Oh, don't you have to pay, like, several thousand shiny objects here? Ugh. Trying to pay Mr. Krabs and play the game at the exact same time is so frustrating. Okay, well, I may as well try to get this golden spatula early and try to progress in this area. I may as well just pay it now. Okay, there. Fuck it. Okay, so clearly we need Patrick in this area. Which, yes, in this area they give you Patrick. Nope. Okay. Fine, I almost died, but whatever. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Oh god, your jaw doesn't work. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Oh yeah, the funnel machines. I don't like the funnel machines. Yes, Mermaid Man tends to explode. In what way? I don't know. So what is this good for? Oh. Oh. Oh god, I'm getting this over with. Okay, number one, I'm hitting this. Just so I can sequence break it. Oh god, I hate this puzzle. Okay. So you have to hit one of these buttons. I think you have to hit this one, then this one. Now I think that. Fuck. Okay. Uh. This one, I think. Oh, 
Okay, and I think you just keep going until... All three on one side are... Cleared. Fuck. Oh, I think I got it. Yes, I did it. I don't know how I got it, but I did it. There we go. Yes. There. It didn't take me seven hours to finally get this goddamn puzzle. Okay. Phew. Got that done as fast as humanly possible. There we go, yeah. The Mermelayer is just full of bullshit puzzles. Yeah, and I'm not kidding by the word of the word of choice being bullshit. And I'm pretty sure that returns you to the, this thing. Fuck! I'll get the funnel machines first, how about that? Okay. Fucking oh, fuck. Uh, uh, God. Fuck. Hate these goddamn things. Okay. Thank. Okay. Thank the Lord. Okay. That one just shoots shit at you. Okay. There. I got the two easy ones done. Now for this one. I don't like this one. Fuck! God damn it! Ugh. Is, this all you have to Is the television fixed yet? Uh, no. No! 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 What the fuck? Is there an animation where Patrick just fails to grab something? Like this? No, he was just being a dick. Okay. Okay. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Thank you. It's over. Whew. There. Two of the three most irritating... There we go. Two fifths of all the golden spatulas. Golden creamy delicious goo. Okay, I think with that we should just end it. Uh, the rest of the mermelayer can just be done pretty easily because there's only one more puzzle that's really that annoying. So anyway, next time on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, we are going to tackle the rest of the mermelayer. I hope. I'll see y'all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.